Philippines could lose a young in Shoal in 2024, could then cut off economic ties with China which will result in hardships. Haven't the armed forces of the Philippines, the Department of National Defense and the Pinkluans realized yet that China is slowly but surely tightening the screws around a young in Shoal? Every time there is a resupply mission there, China does something new, and usually more severe than their previous action. If President Bong Bong Marcos' foreign policy doesn't change and this keeps up at this rate, then I think the Philippines will likely lose access to that shoal by sometime next year in 2024. This means we will lose our ability to resupply our troops and make repairs there resulting in us eventually abandoning that outpost. Losing our access there I think is the payback by China to the Philippines for giving the United States military bases under the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement to protect Taiwan, and for the Philippine government constantly talking trash about China in public. I don't think the Pinoy doggies of the US will really fight China over Ayungin, they are just there for the press releases and to gain more publicity because of it. And the US itself also does not want to go to war with China over Ayungin. The Philippines could then respond by trying to cut off economic and maybe even political ties with China, but this will only result in economic hardships for the Philippines as there really is no alternative to China on that field. The US can't even give the Philippines the free trade agreement it was asking for, and as far as I know only very few European countries were willing to give us that, and under certain conditions only. The US also couldn't even convince their own companies to invest in the Philippines itself instead of in other Southeast Asian countries. So Philippines, brace up for more economic hardships in the coming years, all because of false national pride, where they constantly antagonize China while freely giving away Saba to Malaysia. You can show your dissatisfaction in the approval and trust rating surveys, and by not supporting the administration and its allies in the 2025 and 2028 elections. I suspect that this is the game plan all along by the left, go at the armed forces of the Philippines against China so they will focus on them instead of the new people's army. Cutting off economic and political ties with China will result in hardships which again the left can and will exploit.